Great shot. Great look. Mm -hmm. Just didn't go down. Um, you know, obviously we had a few different options on that last play, uh, but I just appreciate the coaching staff and my teammates trust me with that shot. Um, and just the, the comfort they gave me afterwards. You know, I really want to win here. Uh, really put a lot of pressure on myself at times. Um, I think I need to scale it back a little bit just because of the second half of the season, just feeling like we got to be great every single possession. Um, and usually these learning curves or learning moments happen in preseason and it's just happening now. So it, it definitely it puts a glaring eye on what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Easy to criticize, but um, for us, I just got to focus on um, being the best that I can be and showing up for not only Luca but for my teammates. Just post All Star break. Um, it's just natural pressure. It's just, it's just like NBA pressure. It just comes with uh, second half of the season. We only have you know 20 games, 19 games left, and uh, for me personally, I just want to play well. And uh, the last two games, uh, just haven't played with the fluidity of uh, my game and just complimenting others um, and just doing the little things for, to get us those wins. You know, just defensive stops uh, and then starting off quarters well. Um, that fourth quarter was. Uh, we could start off a lot better. There were some possessions that we could have got some better shots, um, but that's the flow of the game of basketball, and you got to live with the results. And I have nothing but confidence in the guys that I'm on on the floor with. Do you feel like there's a, also a sort of pressure that comes along with being the centerpiece of a, of a huge midseason trade? Uh, I mean, it's natural. It, it comes with it, uh, and, and also, um, you know, as a human being, uh, you just naturally want to fit in with everybody and and not step on anyone's toes. Um, but the magnitude of the moment sometimes warrants uh, special people to go up and beyond and do the extra things. And I'm at that place now, but I, I think I just need to scale back and just let the game come to me and flow into it. Um, you know, because when we're playing that tense, I can feel the intensity around me. And um, I think I just got to settle in, stay poised, like I always say. Uh, I think it's a collective effort for us in this locker room. Uh, I mean, we have Hall of Famers uh, in the locker room, so it's not uh, difficult to go up to one of the guys and ask questions and inquire about what's going on. I mean, that, that's probably the the, the greatest um, asset that we have. One of the greatest assets on this team is just we have one of the greatest guys to play the game leading us um, as a head coach. And we got some great coaches that, really demand excellence out of themselves and then demand excellence out of us. So it's a, it's a great relationship that we have, and I just think everybody's included in this and the collective effort of us being special the second half of the season. So. Um, on the court, I just think we're all figuring each other out. I, it's, oh my goodness, it's a fun process, but it's also like... <laughs> Ah, just some of these things will be handled in preseason, but it's not that. And I have to wrap my head around that reality and um, just understand that the process itself is going to be up and down, but showing up every day and staying consistent is what's going to get us through. Um, but on the court, I think we just have to stay communicative and uh, continue to do the little things for each other. Just nonverbal communication. Majority of the things that go on out on the court, you know, knowing guys' tendencies, knowing where guys want the ball, or defensively just going over shell defense, communication through that, and then the coach is giving you your matchups and having a coach that you go to every day. It's, it's a whole list being in a professional <laughs> basketball position um, or entertainment, uh, entertainment position. So it's a lot that comes with it. It's a lot to remember. New plays, just getting the synergy and synchronicity with new guys. So that takes its, its time. But um, for me, I have no excuses up here. I, I just know I, I got to show up to the party and be more poised out there and, um, you know, just hit timely shots and also trust my teammates and trust what we got going on. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. I'm human. And and coming into this again, I would love to play well every single night. I was just texting with my dad 
And um, he's my biggest fan, one of my harshest critics, but he's always going to keep it honest. And I appreciate that um, because he's been watching me play for a long time. And he just told me to stay aggressive, and he looked like I was overthinking out there. And I was just telling him, like, that we have new lineups. I'm playing with new guys out there. It's an adjustment period. As much as I would love to play well, it just it doesn't happen as often as you, as you would like. But um, I think moving forward, uh, when I can ease kind of my own burdens or overthinking, I think things will naturally flow. Right now, it's just high-intense environment. I could feel it. You know, everybody wants to win, and that's a great thing. Everybody cares. Um, but now we just got to figure out what our, our temperament is, what our emotions are. So. It's the big business, baby. It's the big business. So as much pressure as I would let upon myself, I have goals um, that I would love to accomplish, but all those are pushed to the side because I know that um, you know, there's 15 other guys on this team that are relying on me to do things that they've either seen me do or they're expecting me to do as one of the best players in the league. So uh, sitting alongside Luca again, I just have to show up to the party. I've been in situations throughout this league. Um, some have been failures, some have been successes, but over the last few years, I've definitely made a, um, made a goal of mine to just be stronger mentally, especially dealing with the rigors of this, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally. So they'll come, they'll come to, they'll come to light. Yeah. Uh, there are definitely some frustrating days, but there are definitely some great days where uh, you think you failed or you've let everyone down, and it's just a, a lesson. Um, I used to really take this game uh, up and beyond um, just, like, I don't want to say an addiction, but it's... <laughs> It's like when I go home, I just know I'm going to watch 45 minutes of highlights straight and my hours won't wind down until about 4 a.m. Just thinking and just processing what happened and my adrenaline has slowed down and I get to just put my family to bed. But ultimately, there's a goal that I have to accomplish when I wake up and that's to be better than I was yesterday. So as ugly or as mad as I want to be at this moment right now, I know I got to let it go um, when I go home and start a new day tomorrow and, and get back to it. Um, that's just all I know. Mm-hmm. It was a good shot. It was a good shot. It was a great shot. Uh, ironically, it was a left step back. I think he's familiar with that. So um, it was a good shot, and just got to stay confident. Stay confident. Uh, one, one oh, uh, Luca mentioned that some defensive coverages may not have been executed like quite you know, as they should today. Uh, was there anything that stood out? Yeah, uh, the second quarter and the third quarter. I think they were playing with an unbelievable rhythm. Um, I don't think they really felt us um, physically every possession, and there were some breakdowns that definitely happened. I mean, when you give up, we can score 39 in the third, but when we give up 38 in the second, 37 in the third, it's it's a high offensive game that they're running against us, and we got to be able to break their rhythm better. So defensively, uh, we can make some improvements, I, I feel, and, and including myself, starting with myself. Um, but we gave ourselves a chance to win, and um, got to live with the results. But we'll look at film on Thursday and get ready. Thanks. Yeah. Uh.